Every March, Nike celebrates Air Max, the history, the heritage, the innovation, and the future. This year, the Department of Unimaginable served as that point of commemoration. Around the world, consumers were provided a larger-than-life platform to think creatively, to look outside the box, make within the world of sneakers, and grow their passion for Air Max. The Econ team, however, took a step back. We realized if we were to celebrate Air, we need to celebrate our best in Air. Our top neighborhood retailers who are telling our story, building our culture, and spreading our message on a daily basis. The Unimaginable Summit was made with these Air Ambassadors in mind. A two-day journey celebrating the head associates and top managers from our neighborhood partners throughout the East Coast, starting in Atlanta and going all the way north to Boston, providing that right mixture of inspiration, education, and celebration, giving these Air Ambassadors their best chance of reaching their unimaginable goals in their store and the industry. Southern fictitious place um, that really allows consumers and people that interact with it to really discover different things. So left the keys, left me home alone. I snuck out with the cheese since I was a young. So Exeter was uh, one of the first places where we really tested product and tested out these innovations. We're kind of kind of digging in the crate for a second. Since I was a young, snuck out with the cheese. Kobe was a rookie. That's, that's the deal you and for my Nike forever. Please know that's the real. I ain't know about took, he took me to the city, brought me all the goodies, wasn't playing hooky, yet was on my hoodie. I was just a young man. Uh, I have four Nike touches, you know? Uh, I have four Nike touches. Watching TV with my pup. When we were breaking through and thinking about the Department of Unimaginable, the question we had as deacons is, what can we do for the marketplace? So the Department of Unimaginable is something that's happening somewhere in the city for sneaker-obsessed consumers all over the world. But as deacons, our job is to bring this inspiration and innovation to the stores to really empower you guys. And so our thought was, what exactly could we do? And we have begins all the way from Boston, all the way down to Miami, via everywhere. It ain't come out yet, still we go to Comic Con. With a Barbie doll, copy for the ambiance. Watch me summer salt. Mama had a boy, raised him to a king, went to KB2. The idea we had as a team was, what exactly could we do to elevate you guys to the next level, to give you guys that empowerment, to be able to imagine with all your consumers and comments? I was a young cop in figurines since I was a young cop in figurines. So we're going to take it back. We're going to take it back to the 80s. We're going to rewind. Uh, you guys know what this is? And what about the east side? How barrio we So Frank Rudy is the reason why we all have Air Max on. He's, this, is the, this is the father of Air. Without this guy, he would never born. He wouldn't have the Air Max 1 to 720. He's the reason why Air Max is our, our Air is in the shoe period. Um, to kind of take it back, uh, this is what people were running in the 70s. So, you know, the Cortez is the first Nike shoe uh, that we put out as a running shoe. So, he took the inspiration from behind us in the zoom and put it into the Air Max 1. Boom. I have one version. That those top four pictures kind of show how the innovation works. Uh, you walk on the shoe, the air compresses, you uh, take pick your, pick your foot up, the air decompresses. Four better to the deuce. We were set up on the stoop, getting wet up on the stoops. Go bigger. Um, and again, Brenda did a great job taking it through the 80s, and we saw that video about the 90s, and 726. Uh, I have the, the black and blue colorway that just recently came out. Okay. Oh man, you, yeah, you gotta say something, so you listen. No next? No next. Mr. Dia, what do you guys think about this guy? Um, this shoe was really created for a visionary consumer, someone that we kind of think of as like a forward thinker, and right? they don't.
you guys are all part of this industry because you guys love it, you guys want to be a part of it, and all of your goals you send in reflected that itself. So what we're going to do, we're going to say cheers, obviously, yeah. and then as we kind of go through this deck, we randomly pick some people's faces, all your sketches in here. So kind of as dinner flows through, we want to give each person an opportunity to stand up and to share it to the whole crowd what their goal is and what you're going to do to shake up this industry. I can't repay them, but, you know, just to be able to have that opportunity. We're meeting with Boys and Girls Clubs of Puerto Rico and we're going to actually try to get a bunch of kicks shipped out there. Almost parallel of the sport, so my crazy dream, or well, unimaginable goal. Nobody from where I'm from knows what that means, knows what I do. Like, so I'm just going to keep on grinding. It's like the only was not a top seller in my store, I was a top seller in the district. <laughs> but like eventually when I get this first one going, I start busting the rest of them out, I can inspire someone else to go ahead and start either running or small barriers in New York. With my it actually started a few years ago at Nike. Outside of work, outside of home, it's called Research and Development. Um, so. Oh no. Yeah. You never sell out. Never sell out. They can't tell you. Or Sometimes you gotta talk that talk to them, Nipsey. But when that right deal, it comes your Sometimes way. they can't handle it, though. But you'll remember how to sign your name. But we don't care. Woo! Now yeah, it's a moment this special. Oh. It's what happens. Stay down, the game bless you. Right. It's what happens. Don't fold, the game test you. Hey. If you pass it, you gone, they can't catch you. It's permanent. I've been down, I deserve the experience today was definitely something that doesn't happen very often to get people from all over the East Coast and kind of sit together and deliver a positive message. It, it, it kind of built like a family outside of Nike, you know, outside of my regular door. I think this, this is something that brands need to do more often. It needs to happen more frequently. I'm thankful to be here. I think it's cool to meet um, people from other stores. I, you know, I just made two friends from Atlanta. We meet people from all over where we didn't have the same life coming up or maybe the same environment but we're all bonded by like products or like a moment. It's like incredible and to still be in this industry and be able to learn something new is like, it means a lot. Once again, I appreciate you guys. It's been a phenomenal two days, but again, Department of Unimaginable is about surprises, right? The unexpected, and we have an unexpected guest. So, can you guys please give it up for the 2018 Hall Last year, you won, right? Here in New York City, we put on a phenomenal experience for consumers on air. We allowed them to kind of create the future of Air Max and what that was going to look like. A bunch of entries, right? A lot of people went through the process, but there was only one winner. That was you. Can you kind of talk to the people about you know that first initial reaction or response when you found out you won? I was excited. Um, I didn't know what to expect, obviously. Um, yeah, I don't know. I was just like, I don't think it hit me. Like, I don't think it still hit me, and I'm wearing the shoes. <laughs> So it's just like a lot, but yeah, it's fun. I'm excited. No tears, though. We talked about. Nah, that no tears, no tears. I'm the. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Can we just make a, a, a lot of noise for Gabby? <laughs> Thank you guys. Uh, Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Uh, 
now we're actually about to get into this workshop. I'm gonna pass it off to Nah, you ain't got Richard the sleeve, no sir. And I got a rose that's in the grove that I ain't drove. Shit, I don't know the reason. Three or five. Underlay, underlay, revive. Hola. Me and Jay Babin on G5. Hola. Success is a drug hem and we high. I am mother is a beehive. Yeah. I got love for you haters. Yeah. Ain't you tired of enslaving? Huh? Come with us, make some paper. Shame. Yeah. Cause you should own what you label. Yeah, you never stayed in Kalua. I push it now on my shoulder. Flooding my chain and it goes. I don't want that girl, she moody. I'm basically saying I'm cooler. Get DR discounts from my cougar. Back in the sixth grade, I got them bad grades. I was in love with my tutor. See musically lose, you trapping me. There's a book slash movie called The Outsiders, and that's been one of my favorites since I was a little kid. And I resonate with that a lot growing up, like being into fashion and streetwear and all that, coming from where I'm from. Nobody really accepts that, they don't understand it. So I always felt like an outsider. Now in my older age, I'm gonna start my own brand called The Outsiders, and this is paying homage to the outsiders, the greasers, that whole like being different than everybody else. I like this color code for the 98 and I love denim so I thought I was add a little denim to the spice to make it like an upper denim and I like bright colors so I make neon so I add the neon laces and put a little trimming at the side and I just put the denim in the back to have like a little wings hanging then I have the little at the side make it like braids like pigtail like a little girl and I put this here to so make it like a light and be like Ta -da! like right in the shoes <laughs> And I just put my signature, Queen So. Uh, well, the inspiration behind the piece is pretty much to emphasize on indigo dye and uh, West Africa culture, Japanese culture. The blue is to signify a bond within people, unity. Um, blue is a color that can't be broken down too much. So I think in the sense that it just uh, signifies a role of strength and love. Most of you rappers be actors, man. Go MIA when I find little Madison. Stay at the risk, cause then this not the rattles. Just took a blue one, about to take the red pill. Purple thoughts in my brain, hope it don't spill. Stay with a nerd, you're like Urkel Jalil. Fresh is like cotton, I kill him with will. Big ass R on my Smith. Big ass R. fine and she got some hips. Mama said, let me see the witch. Boy, you know, light and dark don't mix. Mix it up, boy, bad luck. Sick to my stomach with the neon guts. Higher than Elon Musk. So high stars eat our dust. And I got a colorful aura. Like I got neon guts. Dark energy we don't touch. All jewelry's beyond touch. And they give a nigga colorful aura. Like I got neon guts. Higher than Elon Musk. So high stars eat our dust. And I got a colorful aura. Like I got neon guts. Dark energies we don't touch. Our jewelry is beyond touch. And I got a colorful aura. Like I got neon. Yeah, fam. Pharrell on Mars with my fellow star. I'm like lightning striking in a metal rod. I say hello, God, and the double bar. So damn it, MX, I got a yellow card. Uh, yellow card, yellow card. Damn, P, I need a yellow card. I am from the root, like where the pedal start. I had to push like a pedal start. Started way after, but ahead of y'all. New crib, got a better yard. Two years, I got hella cards. Since the eighth grade, I had hella broads. Bras, hello bras, yellow painting with a yellow bra. Shit came from cars, poly march. Slick my hair back like I'm Chico de Barge. I got some lights on my chest. Don't confuse it with a heart. Her things ain't looking too good for you. Had to pull some strings like I played a heart. I get these billions alone. It been that way from the start. Smoking good, Kush my cologne. Got neon guts cause I can't see in the dark. Higher than Elon.